Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. We've got here this 10 second composition and we're going to start, uh, it's a 720 by 540, we're going to start with a solid here, square one, uh, the colour is 255-107-15 and we're going to do another one and this second one is going to be, and the second one is going to be square two. And we're going to go to three seconds and we're going to press shift and seven. So this sets a marker. Uh, and what it means is that if we're somewhere on the rest of the composition, press number seven, we're going to go right back to, to there. Uh, and yeah, one to six is reserved for 3D functions. So it's best to start at seven. You basically get four numbers to choose from, four digits, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So now we're going to get our 3D switch, which is over here. So we'll put that on for those two. We're going to set our positions for the two squares. So let's do that and press P. And this position is going to be three, uh, 27 and this one's going to be 88. Uh, you'll notice that because you've got them both selected it does that so you don't really sometimes you want them both selected for instance if you were doing something with a rotation and you wanted it to be both the same that functionality would actually be useful uh, but probably not for this uh, case. Um, and this one's going to be uh, 596 uh, 32 288. All right. All right, so they're good, right? So we've got our position keyframes in place. Uh, now we also might wanna have the scale up on board. So we could select them both again, and then do Shift and S, and that gets our scale keyframes up in the on the go. Now we can deselect because we are gonna do them in different sizes again. So this one should be at 48. And then this one is gonna be at 18. All right, so we can make sure we've got our keyframes there. So you can see there we've got four keyframes here at the three second mark on the marker. Okay, so there we've got the uh, final positions of the squares. This one was 88, by the way, on the position. So once you've got that set, we can go back to the beginning. You can press home to do that as well. And we're going to create some more uh, keyframes. So this one is going to be at uh, three, seven, C60 and then zero on that one. Uh, and if you take a look at what that means, it basically means it's going backwards, right? Um, because the Z direction, when we go into the Z direction, right, uh, the number gets higher. And we can actually extenuate that by um, doing uh, this 110 here. So you can see that, that effect, right? And then we want to look at the... Um, and then we can also set some rotation ones. So we can press R for the rotation. And these are going to be 0 and 0. So we'll do the... Um, so this is the interesting thing, right? This square is going to be an X rotation square, and then the other square is going to be a Y rotation square. So having that contrast between uh, the horizontal and the vertical rotations uh, kind of creates a bit more interest to the animation. All right, and now let's look at uh, number two here. So at number two, we're going to have five, 32. This is going to be at zero. And then this one is going to be uh, 50 and 50. And 50. <laughs> And then for the uh, rotation uh, keyframes here, um, this is actually a case where you could have selected both the rotation keyframes. All right, and then we can press R on this one to get our rotation keyframes and the rotation keyframes we're gonna have a, a zero, zero, zero at this one. And this time we're gonna be setting the Y rotation. So basically the Y rotation, this starts at zero and on this one starts and square one starts at zero as well. Um, so we need to go to the, um, so we press number seven now, it gives us a goody way to get, you know, rather than doing all this business where I'm trying to exactly f find the spot, uh, if you just press number seven, we'll get directly to that. All right, so what we could do here, as soon as we could look at our rotation keyframes. Now it just so happens that both of them need to be at zero, zero, 270 on the, on here. So I could just do a 270 here. And you notice it creates keyframes for both of them, right? Uh, but obviously we're dealing with X rotation and Y rotation. Um, so they're going to be different. So we don't want to change that. So on the first one, we're going to be two. I think that would be useful in like, if you had a lot of things to change there. So it's going to be two, and you can see, and that's what creates the cool animation. You can see that, you can see that like, a, you can see, if you look at the uh, blue, um, you can see that, you can really see the uh, X rotation there, right? With the blue going around and around. Uh, and again, we'll press number seven just to get back there. And this one, the Y rotation is going to be one. Um, and then we're going to have 180. So it's going to be what, 540, is it? 
And if we take a look at if we take a look, you can see that Y rotation there on the uh, the top square, right? So let's take a look what it looks like then. You can double click here, by the way, if you ever want to um, see things bigger. So for instance, I could go and see that, um, do fit up to 100% maybe good. Um, you could, I think 100% will work fine there. So yeah, so that is gonna do for this video. So thanks for watching.